All right, y'all. Moment we've been waiting for. First things first, this is something you very rarely see out here. Check this thing out. What? Clean workbench. That only means one thing. Time for a new project. There she is, the old beater bird. About rip transmission out. I guess we'll start with that because it's definitely the most notable issue with the vehicle. I think I've said it before, but uh, fourth gear synchros are absolutely shot. Doesn't want to shift in smoothly at all. Oh yeah, we fancy. Um, so yeah, we got a got rip transmission out. Give me more light. Oh yeah. So there's 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 many notable problems here. Yeah, it might be the main seal on the engine. Back here we've got a rather notable leak on the output shaft seal, but obviously that comes in a rebuild kit, so should be good there once we get it fixed. But we're about to tear into here and see if we can get this bad girl off here. Made the mistake of putting it on the lift and jacking it up yesterday only to realize, gotta pull the shifter off first. Let's drop it down and raise it back up and we will uh start pulling that tranny. Just had the most fantastic idea. Obviously this is a low riding car and I'm not exactly the smallest fella, so I just leave it on the bottom notch of the safety latches and now I ain't gotta climb down to get into the car. It's kinda like straight across. It's almost as tall as my, uh, as the Ranger now. So, make that a little bit easier. I guess first things first, we'll pop the hood, disconnect the battery in case I do anything stupid. Hopefully the latch works right this time. It don't want to work. Come on, righty tighty lefty loosey. What the hell? Get in the hole. There we go. I swear I've done this before. This this still just drives me nuts. It's it's terrible. That's just terrible. That's bad. All right. What we've got here is ugh, shifter. Let me just run. You want to just pop off there? No, oh, that's easy. Perfect. Don't even have to unscrew stuff in this car. Must be that quick release stuff. <laughs> Old console's not even attached. Two-handed job, don't want to break it. Can we see? I'm going for it. Yeah, you can just sit over here for now. I can't believe I just pulled that whole thing out without even having to pull out a screw. I feel like that just means I'm gonna have my hands full with this car. Undoubtedly the folks that were in it before me were uh, 
a little bit lazy? Is that, is that the nice thing to say? I don't know. Okay, progress. Nope, feels like we got a set screw or something. Oh, boy, I wish a ball was pop. Ah, oh, yes. I hate when I got a busted ball. Boop. So now, in theory, got room to work. Also, we will most definitely be replacing this at some point, too. Screw it, we're gonna price it, pull it out now. Be worth keeping if it had Bluetooth. Don't have Bluetooth, and I don't like having the aux cord hooked up all the time. Look it. Okay. What have we got here? Ow. Forgot I was up on the lift. No, oh, wrong way. Should pop right out. It we. Slap a rag over that. Keep some. I guess it don't matter. We're ripping the whole thing apart anyhow. Yeah, we'll just leave her be. I'm so excited for this project, guys. One nice thing about having had just replaced the exhaust, or having somebody else do it, I should say, that was by far the easiest Y pipe I've ever pulled in my life. Opens up a good bit more room back here, though. Now we can see here, I mean, we had, yeah, hanging on by a thread. Like, okay, okay, more than just a thread, probably four, four, three or four threads. But this one's about backed out all the way. So, oh, look at that. That's all right. My question is, do we pull the bell housing? Where can we get that? I wonder if that's a four bolt. This might be real easy to pull. Kiss of death right there. We'll see. I don't know if there's a top bolt up there or not. I don't, I don't think there is. Screw it. Let's get the drive shaft out. Pretty certain with this one, all I gotta do is pull the U-joint back here and the slip yoke's like built into here. So it should just go whoop, pop right out. All right, well, we got her about ready to come out. I got two bolts holding it on. Um, my tranny jack wasn't high enough, and I don't feel like lowering the car and working half squatted down. So we're just gonna try to do this old school. I believe this is like an 87 pound transmission, so it shouldn't be too terrible. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna, just gonna go for it and see what happens. Time around the light to die. See if we got another light in here real quick. That light's dead too. I gotta get you, I gotta get you better lights than that.
That'll work. Feels like I smashed my knuckle. Looks like I smashed my knuckle. <clears throat> Is this flashlight big enough? Ha <laughs> ha. So, uh, transmission's out. Voila. And there she be. That's too bright. Ooh. All right, so yeah, when I go to put that back in, I will most definitely be uh, lowering the lift a little bit and uh, pulling it out the right way, or putting it in the right way. That was a little too much effort. But, successful mission for today. Now I gotta go wash up and it's about time to take Addie to school. This is exciting. She needs good polish. A little dirty. But when we tear her down, we'll be splitting it all apart and it'll be a perfect time to go out and buy a parts washer because we left that at the other shop. It was kind of built into the shelving or the table there. And I was just like, yeah, we'll just leave that for the next feller. It was just one of those little Harbor Freight guys. I suppose in the next video we'll do a uh, teardown. It definitely will not be a uh, how-to video because I've never done a transmission before. I've watched a few videos on YouTube about how to do this. It's pre seems pretty straightforward. Um, got a shop press and a bearing puller get up, so I should be able to get everything apart in here. And we'll just kind of play it by ear. If this transmission's no good if I get in there and the gears are ground up a little bit, then we'll just buy a new transmission. But if all the gears look good and solid, then we'll go ahead and uh, try to rebuild it. Oh, that's all for this one, folks. We'll catch you later. Bye.